All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 38. And in this lesson, we're gonna be looking for and making use of repeated reasoning and structure using the addition chart and to solve subtraction. Blah, 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 blah. Basically what that means is we're gonna be looking at number sentence. Uh, we used to call them fact families. We're gonna, uh, for example, four plus five equals nine. And then all of the other number sentences that go in that fact family. And that's basically what this lesson is about. We're wrapping up everything we've been learning in the previous lessons, all boiled down to fact families. So this happens to be from the exit ticket. I'm kind of veering from my normal practice uh, of choosing problems from the homework because the homework is a little different, as you'll see in a minute. But basically in this exit ticket, we see we're given a number bond. And our task is to create all of the number sentences that go with that number bond. I'm a little bummed that they tell you that you have to do the subtraction first and then the addition. That's kind of a bummer. So teachers, if you can, let students be in charge of what they write and when. As long as they get all four members of the fact family, we should be okay. But in this case, we're saying, okay, we're going to start with 10 minus. Now, of course, we have a choice. We can either choose 7 or 3. The one thing we don't have a choice is that the 10 has to come first. It's the whole, so it needs to come first. So we could do seven min uh, 10 minus 7 is 3. And then I'm kind of bummed. Uh, they suddenly jump to addition, where I think I would have preferred to finish out all the subtraction problems. But... They've moved to addition, so that means we need to do 3 plus 7 is 10, or we could have done 7 plus 3 is 10. The thing that's not negotiable is the 10 is the sum, so it has to go over there. And so let's wrap up our fact family. So we have 7 plus 3 is 10, and 10 minus 3 is 7. The traditional, going all the way back into the 1950s, that's our fact family. And that's basically what this whole lesson is about. Now, I chose to show the homework problem simply because it took me, honestly, forever to figure out what they were talking about. And I don't want you to have to get feel frustration parents and teachers over what they are talking about. So the directions say, find and solve the seven unshaded addition problems that are, now here's the key, doubles and five groups. All right. So we're going to be looking at these unshaded problems down here, and we need to figure out which ones are the doubles and the five groups. And we're told that there's seven of them. All right. Now, I'm not going to shade. Well, no, I think I could shade them. I'm going to use um, blue, and let's make it there. Okay, so, so the doubles are pretty straightforward. There's this two, this two. These are doubles. So you got 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 4 plus 4, and 5 plus 5. So those are straightforward. Okay. Now, the thing that wasn't entirely clear to me is what what does it mean to be five groups. I, that I, I didn't understand, the five groups. And it took me a little while to figure out. But what they mean by five groups is specifically they wanted us to identify the problems that have a five in it. For example, two plus five. Oops, so I'm going to... There you go. 2 plus 5, 3 plus 5, and 4 plus 5. And there are our seven problems that we were supposed to identify. And that took me forever to figure out. Um, so really, what's the point? The point of this, oh, then once we do, we've got that, we're supposed to create our subtraction facts. So we're supposed to first write in the sums. And then 9, 8, and 7. And then once you've written in the sums, we need to create our subtraction flashcards. For example, if we're going to do 7, right here, 2 plus 5 is 7. Our subtraction flashcards would be 7 is equal to, oops, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2, 
7 minus 2 is equal to 5. If we're going to do 8 right here, it would be 8 minus 5 is 3. 8 minus 3 is 5, etc., etc., etc. And the idea is don't forget that your doubles are only going to create one subtraction card. For example, 10 right here. 10 is uh, 10 minus 5 equals 5. All right, uh, that's the idea of this, and I, I got to tell you, the the took me way too long to figure out what these directions meant. Um, really, the important thing is that we help students develop an understanding of fact families, and there's games that we could play. We could play memory, concentration, a lot of fact family games that we could be playing that might be more engaging anyway than doing this as homework. And that wraps up Lesson 38, First Grade Module 1, Lesson 38, where basically we are doing the classic, the traditional fact families uh, back from the 1950s. And that's basically what it is. Only at this point in the game, we've done 30 prior, 37 lessons. Now we're up to 38 lessons of developing number sense so that students love math rather than just hate the fact that they're being forced to memorize a bunch of things they don't understand.